Again, um, hope everyone's well. And uh, as you saw on my comment in the, on the post uh, Sunday, I'll, I'll probably more than likely stay on Sundays from now on. Um, <clears throat> And the time may vary a little bit, but most of the time I'll probably stay with the 11.11 time. All right. Oh, first orb just flew past my back. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> um, so here we are again. Yeah, so this is my fourth video. And hopefully the internet will be okay, behave today. And I hope I don't have to change to my mobile phone like I did last week. Um, for those new, for maybe those who haven't watched any of my previous videos, my name's Kai Stubbley. Um, and if you want more information of, I guess, the who, who I am, and my multi-dimensional self, then watch video one. Um, that's got some of my story. Or <clears throat> yeah, just some of my story. I still haven't gone into full detail about everything, but video one will give you <clears throat> a good idea of who I am. But basically, I've been doing healing work for um or well, spiritual healing for the last nearly 20 years getting close now 18 years so working with people other people and myself on a multi-dimensional self for that for nearly two decades um and that's continuing yeah that journey continues um for those that know, there's, I'm working with a few other special people at the moment and we're running workshops and, and more things are coming out in those workshops all the time to continually raise my awareness. And part of what we've been doing is um, part of what I want to talk about today, um, about timelines and, and um, the concept of time and um, who we are as individuals and a collective and our matrix reality that we find ourselves in right now, in the here and now. And what affects the here and now? You may think it's solid, but it's not <laughs> it's definitely not so as a, as a spiritual healer so and or as my journey showed me in my healing um, journey which started in my 20s um, so my journey and helping other people with this has shown me how um, flexible our reality actually really is So with spiritual healing and my work in helping others, I help people to let go of the past. So most people get the concept of past, future, current, um, because, you know, in society that's what we've been taught, that there's a, a linear time. Um, but really that's a concept 
as a concept for the mind. It does help you understand. And in healing work, you know, we talk about past life regression and past life healing. Um, from your human self, that's easy to grasp. But once you become aware of your omnipresent self, the big you, and you start working with that level of your reality, your consciousness, you realize that it's not like that at all. Because the big you gets to see this linear time, not just from one point on that timeline, it sees the whole lot. It's like it's looking down on that timeline and it can see everything, which means it can go to any point in that timeline. And then you hear people say that everything is happening at once. Well, from that point of view, from your omnipresent higher perspective, that's true. So by doing past life healing, you're affecting your current you. Um, and in my own journey, well, um, in my healing journey, you know, I, 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 you let go of the past, which means ideally you want to let go of any emotional trauma or experience that's holding you at a certain level of consciousness all trauma you've had in, in anywhere on that timeline, um, you know, while it's, while it's valued part of your experience here, if you hold on to that, if you keep it within your, your personal matrix, your DNA, then that's basically a block from you reaching your highest potential. So in my own journey, as I went to different healers to help me shift that, each, each, um, each shift I experienced basically raised me up. So if you consider um, those traumas to be like sandbags of weight holding you down, <laughs> You know, and you do you do a healing session, and you get to the core of the issue. You release the emotion, and it's like snip, that sandbag of weight's gone. Up you go to the next level, and you keep working through. And each um, healing I did, you know, I, I raised up my vibration, raised up my conscious awareness, raised up um, and expanded. But also, in what I'm grasping, starting to grasp now, is that each time you did that, not only did you just raise your awareness, you actually put yourself on a more positive timeline. So if you can imagine, here's one timeline, and there's another parallel. People talk about parallel universes. So you know, got one here, you got one there, and imagine they just keep going out. You got different timelines, um, and you know you may move across depending on the choices you make in life, and what experiences you have may alter which timeline you're on. But what happens is you heal your your um, let go of your past. That allows you to strengthen your connection to your omnipresent self to and, and to align with your omnipresent self, meaning those choices you make in that journey will be from a higher consciousness awareness, which will allow you to be on your best possible co-creation 
timeline. And the choices you make uh, will less likely to be from a, a fear-based and manipulated state. And that's been my experience. So um, each time I healed, my, each, each, each year that I kind of went by and I'd done more and more healing work on myself, I found my life experiences just got better and better smoother and smoother, less conflict um, in flow. People talk about flow. Well, that's basically it. You're, you're walking your path in flow with your divine state of omnipresence, your higher self. Um, and so... More recently, what's come to my awareness is that um, as a healer, you, you kind of have a tendency to just then to focus on other people and kind of forget a little bit to keep working on yourself. Um, <clears throat> and even though there's, like I said, I've... Um, Uh, I've been walking in flow, in that flow state for quite a while. Um, and I don't experience, I don't experience conflict in my life because I am walking in that flow. Uh, there is certain things that um, have happened to me, um, which I went into in video one. Um, because as you raise your vibration and your light, so to speak, you do draw attention from the malevolent ones. Well, that was some pretty loud thunder. There's a storm coming. Um, so that's something else <laughs> that needs continual clearing and working on as well to make sure you keep on that positive timeline. Um, so some work, yeah, I've been doing with others recently has elevated me to, um, again, to get back to that highest potential timeline that I feel I was on before those malevolent attacks. Um, and, you know, as, as you let go of your um, and work on your human experience trauma and, um, and experiences that have created limitations within your consciousness and the, and the mind manipulation program, once you've cleared the, that stuff, then you... You're, you're more able to access the higher levels of your conscious awareness and um, your like your omnipresent self. Um, so that's something I touched on in the first couple of videos. Um, you know, this level of reality. Uh, while many of us have chosen to be here for to expand our awareness <clears throat> as it's one of the toughest uh, schools in the, in the universe because of that memory wipe. Um, you know, you, your human, ex your human journey is, is not who you are. <laughs> it's just an experience. So a lot of people, you know, Uh, talk about that or there's a lot of memes going around that you, you know you're a soul having a human experience that's completely true your human self is not who you are it's just an experience and a potential for accelerated growth um, it is said that 
you know, a, li a lifetime here is, is worth 10 in a, pretty much anywhere else just because the growth potential is, is compacted into, into one life so much that you potentially, if you get through it, you can accelerate far more than anywhere else, your consciousness growth. Um, so, where was I going with that? So, going forward from here, I think I mentioned in, in a previous video, I can't remember now, I tend to forget what I've said because it's, you know, coming from a higher state. Um, from 2012, in my healing work, uh, what's been coming through in individual sessions with people is that Spend us in, instead of spending a lot of time going back to different um, traumatic events in their past, we're actually able to do a bundle healing. Um, uh, we've, we've been given permission from higher dimensional beings, including the main one, Sophia, Mother Earth, that because there's been so much manipulation on earth um, a lot of these traumatic experiences have not been chosen by individual souls it's been a malevolent plan from certain entities and soul clans. Um, now, yes, it's a free will universe with the potential to experience every perspective, dark and light, on right across the spectrum. Uh, there's certain universal laws that have been broken and not honoured, and therefore those ones walking the malevolent line um, have, have, have taken that too far and people, with a lot of souls, are no, have no longer had free will. It's been taken from them. So because of that, um, I've been given a free pass, basically, to evolve. And all you've got to do is give, give yourself permission and maybe you'll need help from someone like myself, like another healer, who's aware of this to help you release and let go um, all, all the manipulated experiences that, that, uh, that you never signed up for. And so from, um, yeah, you may have heard or looked at some information on Project Looking Glass where the Deep State Cabal is one name for them, um, have been able to look into the future and manipulate timelines because of that ability. Once uh, it was said from certain whistleblowers who were within that, that back in the early 2000s and, and the 1990s and so forth, that was when they tried to look past 2012, they couldn't. 
and just got a big white wall blank white screen virtually because that is a blank canvas we've been given so from 2012 you've had a blank canvas to co-create your reality And if you co-create from your highest potential, that's going to be pretty amazing. And how you do that is by, like I said, letting go of the past, releasing all that that's holding you back. And while I made it sound easy, and it kind of is, once you grasp it, um, the stuff from further back in your timeline will be easier uh, the stuff that is fresher as in this lifetime that'll be harder because the emotion is rawer it's right it's right there um, and that that's really where people need to start you know in my healing work with individuals it's generally the most current that comes up first. So something that they've just experienced last week, last month, last year, you know, it's very fresh. So you often work on the really fresh stuff first. It, it, it holds the biggest charge of energy. And then you keep going back from there, basically, you know, back to, um, depending on how old you are, of course, but uh, Often it will just lead back to childhood. Um, childhood is often where the strongest charges are because um, you're a completely open book and you have not put up any shields, so to speak, of protection from... Um, those that that can hurt you including you know and and those that hurt you are often your family members and because they hurt you the most because when you're young you 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 automatically have a, tr a certain trust level and you don't you don't have your guard up so it just goes straight through smashes you and as you get older, you know, you, through life, through experiences, you put guards up. You start putting guards up. But really, they're what they are. Eventually, those are walls and barriers that stop you from connecting to your higher self. So each guard, each shield that you put up to protect yourself from not-so-nice people then become blocks and um, reduce your ability to, to walk your highest potential. So once you clear those, once you clear your current life, lifetime, then it gets a lot easier. Then, like I said, now we can do a bulk deal and we can really just quickly let go of um, all that past manipulated stuff. and get you co-creating from your highest potential, from your omnipresent self. So you stop walking through all these different timeline potentials. You tend to be then just co-creating from your highest with, with very little deviance, if any. Um, and from personal experience, that's a uh, great place to be. That's when 
that's when this experience can be really fun and enjoyable. Uh, as you're not walking around triggered. You tend not to react to other people because you, you're able to see where an individual is at. Which, you know, that was my experience yesterday. Uh, I did go to a rally, in the Melbourne rally protest, walk for freedom in the city yesterday. And I got to see all the different levels of consciousness of people that were there and the many varied reasons for why they were there, depending on their level of awareness. And, and an example of that, uh, um, a friend um, who was in a full Sagittarian mode and quite fiery, heard a protester nearby um, express, you know, that he just got sacked from his job and that was the reason he was there. And she tried to express that um, he was free, that, you know, he didn't have to be a slave anymore and he was free to pursue what he wanted. But at his level of consciousness, he didn't, that's not what he heard from her. He didn't, he didn't get the message. He was completely triggered and reacted and it actually got violent. There was shoving and very, uh, very bitter language used expressed directly at, at uh, this friend of mine and so while that you may think you know a lot of people there for the same reason well it's some serious hail on the roof here sorry if it, if it makes it hard to hear me so you know, while it looked like on the outside everyone was there for the same reason, that was not the case because of the varying levels of consciousness, awareness of where people were at. Whoa, that's some uh, serious hail going on right now. The ground's turning white. <laughs> I hope you can still hear me. Um, I'm sure it'll pass. Mother, Mother Earth is speaking right now. <laughs> so yeah, it was interesting. You know, I walked in amongst everyone uh, just with a couple of friends and, um, you know, it was pretty much just an observer. I just wanted to see, see uh, what level was that. I mean, it was, it was very predominantly peaceful. Um, it was very predominantly peaceful. Peaceful. Thanks, Bronnie, for that message. Um, and overall, as a collective, it was it was a very good group that turned up at the protest. Um, but yeah, as uh, my friend experienced, it, it was pretty easy to trigger those that were still still stuck in the three D reality those that 
hadn't done the work on themselves. And that's okay. Hopefully they'll they'll walk through. But as as the collective consciousness rises, they'll be given the opportunity to. And you know, while we're on this sort of topic, um, you know, there's a lot of people concerned about relatives and friends that have chosen to take a certain uh, medical procedure in the arm. They're worried about them. Those that have chosen to take that medicine through coercion um, and manipulation um, because there is there's there's malevolent manipulation on the in the mind control program as well um, which is making uh, people take it that a lot of us are thinking they, they never would have or originally they were saying they never would but all of a sudden now they are um, that's because they've been manipulated. And those that have been manipulated on that level and coerced uh, will be looked after. Try not to worry because that's only going to lower your vibration. That will be looked after of from the higher levels. Our guardians, the light council, uh, they know who, and the primes, they know who is choosing and who isn't, who's manipulated and who isn't. Um, so those that, that are doing it under manipulation will still be given the opportunity to evolve with the collective consciousness. <laughs> there are, on a deeper level, there are souls on a deeper level or people, humans on a deeper level, at the soul level that are choosing to take the medicine which could cost them their life, their human life. You know, that's a path that those, that those ones have chosen to continue the 3D reality somewhere else. They're not, they're not ready to um, evolve yet <clears throat> to the higher states of consciousness. They haven't finished their schooling yet. So it's all good. It's all okay. They, they're choosing to continue this schooling and they'll be taken to another um, 3D reality construct somewhere else, not connected to Sophia, and that's being set up for them. I hear off a, off a planet, uh, off Jupiter, a moon, um, one of Jupiter's moons. <clears throat> so it's all it's all fine. Everything's okay on a soul level. Um, you know, ultimately, no one's harmed unless they're completely destroyed. Uh, that's a pretty rare occurrence. Generally, that's those that have gone so far down the malevolent side, the path that there's no return for them, and that's going to happen. <laughs> It's been happening. Um, I'm working with some souls that now that are consciously aware of clearing and cleaning those that are too far gone. So my omnipresent self 
and the higher selves of other people that I'm working with. They're doing a lot of clearing and cleaning up so that as, as a collective and to assist Sophia, Mother Earth, shift into this positive timeline. So, yeah, so there are those of us at a certain level of awareness that are doing some pretty big work behind the scenes that most people will never be any of the wiser of, will never know about. And that doesn't matter. All you need to focus on is your own journey and your journey of your highest, to be on your highest potential. And like I said before, to co-create from um, your most positive timeline. And from there, you know, the more people that do that, Um, it's like a wave. So the more people that, um, so that those that are listening to me now or, or will watch this video are at a certain, only those that are at a certain level of awareness are going to be attracted to watch this video and to know what I'm even talking about. Um, and so those that, listen and do the work will then affect like I said we'll send out a ripple and will affect everyone in their life um, and they may take a lead role in helping others which may come in the form of doing healing work or whatever workshops classes so then that continually builds and has a further expanding as that as those ripples go out and affect you know everyone's individual circle of network of people in their life so by you raising you automatically are you raising those around you and then if you help those that ask for help that want help then that speeds up the process. And as a collective, we go forward quicker into a more positive timeline. And then once you reach a certain level of awareness, you can then Consciously, continually pull yourself back or if you take any slight deviance from that positive timeline, you're aware of it and you go, oh, what's happening here? What am I being shown? Um, and then you can tune in. And look at what you're being shown, which is more than likely something from another time, timeline, that you, you didn't address. And it can be fairly subtle, just certain relationships with individuals. Um, often, that's the main thing that will come up. Uh, yeah, it'll be they'll be your biggest teachers in that. Individuals in your life will be showing you what you need to look at in your relationships. Um, so there may be something that you've done to that individual um, in another lifetime or another timeline um, that if you address and correct 
that will again pull you back to your positive timeline, your highest potential timeline. So at the moment, there's a lot of, you know, individuals who are very fragmented. So they're fragmented from the manipulation and they're fragmented just from the tough school that Earth is. Um, and so it's about being aware of those different um, parts of yourself that are kind of a bit scattered and, and, and spread out across the different timelines and realities, healing and fixing them so that you're pulling all your energy back into one Um, one timeline, one positive timeline, if you want, if you want to do that. If you want to walk your highest potential, then you heal, correct, and, and pull your energy that's been scattered into one. And you, you, you reach a level of oneness that's talked about in ancient scriptures. And all your different energetic bodies are then also pulled into alignment. So your mental body, your emotional body, your astral body, your ego body, everything then is in alignment and not scattered or broken. So I hope I was... That's easy to understand. I hope I was able to explain it in a way that's easy to understand. But if you want to reach your, basically, if you want to reach your highest potential, then it's, then it's work. You, there's work to do. And your ego is probably going to take a bashing. <clears throat> and that's good. Because <laughs> it's from a place, a certain place of humility. Once you've reached a certain level of humility, then it gets a lot easier. The ego is also one of your biggest obstacles to achieving your highest potential. So along with that fragmented uh, parts of yourself scattered around in the trauma, the ego is then one of the ne your next biggest challenges. Um, but for me, you know, personally, it was step by step. So I cleared the past, raise my awareness, um, pull into my awareness, more positive outcomes. Gives me clarity on on how my, it then gave me clarity on how my ego can pull you out of alignment every now and then. And um, so, you know, it was over a couple of years, I was, well, after, you know, after a decade of clearing my past, then, then my awareness raised to how much the ego can manipulate us. And, um, and it can be very subtle. So those sliding door moments uh, that's been shown in movies, you know, how you, you're on your, you think you're on a path and you come to a crossroad and you got a choice. Do I go left or do I go right? Well, sometimes the ego will make you choose a direction and actually it wasn't of your highest potential. And, you know, that is okay. You know, that's all part of the growth and learning. 
um, and then eventually you um, yeah you, through your awareness you, you 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 can then tend to notice that you notice it and can quickly pull yourself back <clears throat> Um, so for me, I eventually got to the awareness of being able to communicate with my ego self and talk to it like, um, like any other part of myself. So after, you know, continually raising my awareness, I was able to, in meditation, talk to my ego let it express itself in, in how it wanted to be heard. And for me personally, that was, um, it, it came to me like looking like in an, an angry teenager, waving arms around, getting, getting uh, carried, <laughs> excited and frustrated and yeah, expressing all its frustrations. And then once I allowed it to express itself, then um, just through acknowledgement, acknowledge, acknowledging an existence and what part it plays in my reality, just by doing that step and talking to it, it calmed down. It was no longer waving arms. It just went quiet and started listening to me. I then acknowledged that, like I said, it was a part of me. I went further into that and that I accepted it as a part of me and that if it wanted to join me walking my highest potential from my heart consciousness, um, which I've said to you before, from your heart chakra is your portal to your own divine omnipresent self. So I opened my heart chakra to my ego and said, come, come and live in my heart, surrounded by loving divine energy at all times. And it did. Within seconds, it went, zoom. Straight into my heart chakra. And from there, it's now living a comfortable, loving, acknowledged experience with the rest of myself, the rest of my levels of, of consciousness and all the different bodies. And it's no longer giving me trouble, you could say. Um, yeah, it's no longer manipulating me and playing little tricks to get its way. So that was pretty amazing uh, at the time. So again, that was a fragmented part of myself that I addressed and I pulled into the one string. So now it, it is a part of me that walks in that highest potential. So I healed all my past, past lives, past aspects of my human self. Um, I've, I've worked on aspects of my galactic self in the other lifetimes, other universes. I mean, that's not complete yet, but I've done some. <clears throat> and each time I work on those broken, fragmented aspects of self, then they come back and they walk the path in this current, so my current reality in the now is with more of my energy and my omnipresent self. 
So that allows me to co-create with the collective much easier, manifest much easier and not manifesting from my ego self, manifesting from my higher consciousness self. Which is pretty awesome. Um, and I know if I stay on that path, then I will have a very strong influence on the human collective going forward in the future. I can feel it so I can feel that future I've had dreams of that future which has shown me that I am on that timeline um, and yeah it wasn't just a visual dream all the emotions came with that as well so I was it's it's already in my field of awareness the futures already that I'm co-creating on this timeline is already there in my field of awareness I've just got to con continue to to uh, walk along that path. And um, keep my awareness at a level, uh, consciousness at a level that will be a, more aware of anything uh, that tries to stop that. And that's that's ongoing. <laughs> That's the continual work for me at the moment. Trying to be aware of everything that's trying to stop that from the malevolent ones. Because of course there's those that don't want. There's many that don't want me walking this path that I am on now. which can get challenging. Um, but surrounded by good, good group of people and we're working together. And that's how you really get things done. One or two people working together or two or more people working together, there is a saying, this is where this is coming from. <laughs> there is a saying that two or more people working together in alignment can move mountains, and that's true. I'm experiencing that now. We're timeline hacking together to create a better, um, a better future for everyone, a more positive outlook outcome for everyone so we're working on some pretty big stuff for the collective you know for us which affects the collective uh, which I've mentioned in the last video I think goes a lot of it goes back to what happened at Atlantis because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that happened at Atlantis that's replaying within the collective consciousness now. Um, so there were those of us that were playing pretty important roles at that time in Atlantis that um, made mistakes, um, that didn't see the manipulation sneak its way in to create the fall. Um, so there's some of us that are uh, working on, on going back and correcting some of those mistakes and errors in our own timeline, which then affects the whole collective and should reduce the, um, the negative outcomes that are, that are on loop, that are, that are replaying over and over.
So that's pretty amazing. It's um, been been really awesome to do that. All right, so we're at 55 minutes. Um, it's pretty much wanted or wanted to express. If there's anyone that wants to ask anything that's watching, go ahead and type away in the chat. Otherwise, um, wind this one up. Wind this one up for today. Um, I will add that because of this work that we're doing that I just mentioned in correcting errors from the past, um, that's why I have, and from, and from stuff that I experienced in that, that I mentioned in the first video, this is why I have so much confidence that, um, we will go into a golden age. It's happening. Um, because I know I'm aware of the support that we have multidimensionally from our guardians, from the council, light council and above. There's a lot of support for, for the collective to evolve and move forward. And there's enough of us at a certain level There's enough people now at a certain at this at this high level of awareness uh, to to make that happen, to pretty much guarantee it's going to happen. Uh, hey, Bronnie, just saw your question. Okay, so what would you recommend as a beginning step to healing our past in order to move forward in the positive timeline? If you can't do it yourself, if you're not in that level of healing yourself then ask to be guided to someone that can help you so in my, in the beginning for me i uh when i moved to adelaide um i spent i had many sessions with um with a couple of the different healers there at the healing center and then i actually did a healing course workshop which at that center which uh, and then we did exchanges with other people in the class and, and every, uh, even though, you know, they weren't advanced healers, it, it was still, help, it was still uh, also pushing me into trying to tap into that level. So until you reach, a, yeah, the level of consciousness that you can just drop into meditation and work on your own stuff, then get someone to help you work with a healer um, ask your higher self to be guided to an individual that can help you shift that um, <clears throat> it is yeah it's as simple as that I mean yeah until you can do it yourself <clears throat> find someone to help you and it's not a weakness to ask. Yeah. My personal affirmation in my 30s was at the time, you know, to, to do whatever in my power to help me release and let go anything that's holding me back from reaching my highest potential. I had that affirmation in running that I'd written down and I had it in my head over and I used to, you know, I used to say it in meditation a lot. And for me personally, meditation was a major factor as well. So not only was I 
doing the healing work um, with others, you know, getting help from other healers. Um, meditation was a big personal factor in my own journey. Uh, because meditation helped me to access my own deeper levels of consciousness. So I was constantly putting myself into the access of deeper levels of consciousness where information and healing came from my guardians and my higher self. And so also in meditation, I would ask for healing from my guides and my, my team, my higher consciousness team, which I later learned was predominantly my own higher self. Uh, yes, Bronnie, I do. I do do healing sessions uh, via Zoom is a potential, or sometimes just over the phone uh, is the best option, um, depending on people's internet level connections. Um, sometimes my internet isn't a great connection either. So here, out in the country. Um, <clears throat> So yes, I can it can be done just uh, phone to phone as well. Um, so I have at the moment on my Alua Healing Portal um, a calendar of for my sessions, basically Monday to Friday. Potentially weekends can be happen as well. Um, I used to be, you know, used to do a market stall on Saturday, so weekends were pretty much out because I needed Sunday to recover. Um, I'm not currently at the market because of um, the restrictions and protocols, um, so I'm giving it a break for the moment. Uh, uh, that may change down the track. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, I've got a lot of time, a fair bit of time during the week although that's changing. I'm getting busier and busier. Uh, Wednesdays are out, uh, which I need to remove off the calendar on my uh, Facebook page. Um, Wednesdays are co-facilitating workshops all day, so that's out. So that leaves Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at the moment. Um, if that's not possible, then, like I said, just send me a message and uh, potentially I could have space on a, on a weekend as well, uh, depending on the weekend. Um, yeah, so I forget that uh, I'm on YouTube. Um, so a link to my healing page I'll post in the comments once this video is finished. Um, yeah, all right. So I wind it up there. It's just clicked over to 10333. <laughs> um, yep, so I'll post the link to my healing page uh, face on Facebook. Um, otherwise, you can also message me here on YouTube, pers uh, direct message. Thanks to those that uh, tuned in. Hope you got a lot from it. Um, and yeah, I'll just say one thing. I just want to reiterate that um, be very mindful of spending too much time on the movie that's playing out right now and the need to know every single thing that's going on. There is still a lot of manipulation going on um, in this war that's playing out. And, you know, people are, could be going down whole rabbit holes and the whole thing is completely a manipulated structure 
in the matrix. Um, so try and let your higher self guide you to information. Maybe that's a great affirmation to have. Oh, it is. It is. I know it's a great affirmation to have within yourself at the moment is that you'll be guided to receive the information that you need to be aware of to keep you on your highest potential timeline. And that may come from some conspiracy network sites or it can come from many, many, many other um, streams. But yeah, be very mindful of spending too much time in the conspiracy network networks because a lot of it's manipulated and completely wasting your time. All right. Thanks, uh, Bryony and Wendy. Appreciate the uh, feedback, comments. Um, and you're very welcome. <laughs> All right. Over and out. Many blessings. And uh, until next week, cheerio.